Hi folks, how are you? Welcome to another Frame Maker video. In this lesson, I will show you how to introduce sidebar text and images to a sample document like this, so that at the end we are looking at something like this. This is a sidebar text and with the sidebar note image and a special note section. Now to add this sidebar, all you need to do when you're setting up your uh, layout is go to Format, Page Layout, Column Layout and select Room for Side Heads. In this document, we have a side head on the left uh, which is one and a half inches wide and you can have it on the right uh, side closer to binding etc etc many options in frame maker so we have our sidebar already set up here now uh, how do we go about this job the strategically you will be going back and forth between two views page views the normal body page that we are looking at and the reference page. This is where the whole magic takes place. Now to make your job easier switching back and forth, let me show you a shortcut. Escape V, Shift B will shift you instantly to body page. Escape V, Shift R will switch you to the reference page. Even though it kind of sounds elaborate, once you get used to it, it almost becomes automatic. You know? Escape V, Shift B, boom. It is much easier that way. Now, again, from a strategic point of view, to add uh, a sidebar text, it, that's the easier one. You basically select, I think this is body, you can see it in the status bar. We selected body paragraph style. So let's display our default paragraph styles. Now we need to modify, we need to modify the body, the body paragraph tag. So for that I go to Format, Paragraphs, Control M, Paragraph Designer. And we need a new paragraph tag, new paragraph style, which I will call Body Side or sidebar okay now I need to create a new paragraph style I'll call it body side bar okay so I click create style now we have the style but I wanted Arial Arial I wanted nine points and I wanted italic. So I also click update style. Now the style is updated. But it is still not in the sidebar in the main body. For that, I go to pagination and select sidebar. Update. If I click apply, it will apply it only to the selected text. If I click update style, it's going to apply it to all paragraphs with this body sidebar style. So I click and here you go. This text now displays on the uh, sidebar. Now uh, in terms of alignment, maybe I want it to be aligned towards right side for a better aesthetic look. Right? So I update it. There you go. I think that looks like a nice uh, side text. Now, how do we create a sidebar image? Creating a note paragraph style. That's a little more complicated. First, we need to create a, a new paragraph style called a note icon. You can call it anything you like, but for in terms of understanding easily. We need to create a note icon and we need to create a note text and they have to work together so that the icon on the sidebar, just as you can see here, 
will be aligned nicely uh, with the note text itself. Okay. So to do that, let's start. Let's go to the reference page, Escape V Shift R, and let's display uh, our graphics toolbar. And let's insert a graphic frame. Okay, we draw the graphic frame right there. Now we have to give this frame a name. I will give it uh, the name note icon. Okay, because that's exactly what we are creating. Now, as a reminder to myself, uh, I can also add a text here saying note icon right this is just for me as a reminder but frame maker already knows that this frame is a note icon frame and i will show you why that is important and how we will use it now we need an icon right we are on the reference page let's not forget that so we go to insert image we want to insert an image this keeps asking this operation doesn't support undo operation do you want to continue i will just select do not show again this alert because it's kind of becoming a nuisance in a long workflow okay i selected and inserted the image note image here okay so now i can go back to my body page and how do I do that? Escape V, Shift V. Okay. So now I need to create a new paragraph style. I'm now creating a new style. Now here's my insertion point. And here I want to create a new paragraph style called Note Icon. Create the style. Okay. Now in terms of pagination, I don't want this to appear in column, right? We want our note icon to appear in the side head, sidebar. I select side head and I update the style. And I want to retain overrides. Okay, as you can see, it already shifted to sidebar. But where's my image, note icon? Go to advanced, frame below, paragraph. Here is the note icon graphic image that we saved in the reference page. I select that and I update the style. Retain our rights. There you go. We have a nice big note icon. But where is my note text? For that I need to create another paragraph style so they will work together. Note icon and note text. So Let's go first delete this for the time being. I insert my cursor. Now I'm going to create another new style. Note text. Create the style. Now from here we know I want this to be red and I want a note, uh, the word note to appear bef before the note paragraph. So note text, font, color, I change the color to red, update the style. In terms of pagination, I want it in column, so this is pretty good. And to have the note, uh, the word note appear in the beginning as a prefix of every note paragraph, we need to go to numbering. I select auto number paragraphs. I type in note, double type it for space, and I apply it. Okay. So now every paragraph I select and I assign note text turns into this, right? This is exactly what we want. Oh, I think this is bold as well. Well, let's bold it. Select. Go to Format, Paragraphs, Paragraph Designer, 
uh, font weight bold update style okay it's also now bold the trick is now to place the note icon right next to the note text and let's see this is now in body paragraph style and let me assign note icon paragraph style and boom it appears right there next to it but there are a couple issues here one is the icon is too big don't you think is too large so let's go to escape V shift R I select as you can see this is the image and this is the frame you have to distinguish the two and you here we're gonna select the image right click go to object properties now the width is a little too much I want this to be one-third in size 0.5 and it preserves the aspect ratio apply okay it's way up now now this frame represents the sidebar okay now if we go back and see what happened in on our page escape V shift B as you can see we we are looking at the bottom of the image because the same image looks the same in the reference page so we have to pull this down think of the graphic frame as your sidebar what you see there will be exactly what you will see in your sidebar so how do I pull this down offset from top is it has a minus offset so instead zero from left zero apply okay now it shows at the upper left corner of the sidebar but I want it to appear on the upper right so what do we do I know this is like what what did we say one and a half inches wide so this is half an inch so the uh, the distance from left probably should be one inch apply now let's go back to the body page ah okay is perfect but something is not perfect see the top of the icon is not lining up nicely with the note text now this is little problematic either we can pull the icon up or pull the note down correct to, to make them match one another now there is this annoying thing unfortunately in frame maker if you go to format paragraphs designer okay now the text uh, supposedly have this spacing above spacing below options features but look what happens when I want to increase the spacing above so that it'll push down the note text right let's select 28 points double the size apply nothing happens <laughs> so this can drive you crazy so I, I, I think this is a bug or s some sort of development programming necessity frame maker will not allow you to increase uh, spacing above the paragraph in a situation uh, like this instead here let me turn on my paragraph marks escape VT okay now this is the paragraph mark pushing this icon down and if we go to font we see it it sizes 12 now I think the lowest you can go is two points for this field go to two points so decrease the size as much as possible and update the style retain overrides okay it went up just a little bit so so we go to note icon and see alignment instead of first base select top edge and apply boom and all of a sudden they, they now 
match and meet uh, very nicely. So uh, if you want to turn another section, for example, paragraph into uh, note text, you can select that and click note text and then create another paragraph and assign note icon to it. I think the alignment went out of uh, whack. So we go to paragraph designer because still this is displaying first baseline. It should be top edge, update the style, retain the overrides, boom. You have a nice another uh, note, note section there. So this is how you do it. This is how you place both text and uh, images to the sidebar to create a very classy, uh, modern, uh, useful, user-friendly uh, frame maker uh, document. Just remember to create a uh, note icon uh, paragraph style, note text paragraph style, insert your image in the reference page, and then select that image in the advanced uh, advanced tab frame below paragraph so th this is how your image that you saved in the reference page will appear on your sidebar so this was a little tricky but frame maker is a very powerful uh, layout and text editor that you can do a lot with that you cannot with uh, some of the more popular uh, word processors like Microsoft Word. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for your patience. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments section and uh, I'll try to answer them for you. Take good care now. Bye.